YouTube back today in the fish room and in today's video we're going to be setting up a new tank for these fry that I have growing out and mainly the albinos are going to come out and everything else is going to stay. Uh, I'm also going to pull out some of these white labs. They're really small. I'm going to put them probably down with the other fry tank and as you can see it's a water change day. But yeah the main fish I'm pulling out of here is the white labs, the snow white albinos and then I have a couple albino kobu uh, I don't know if they're male or female, but you can see them right there. They're kind of the off-white. I'm going to put them albino kobus in with the other ones down there. I kind of have a breeding group set up for them. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get to that. But as you can see, I got water change day going on. And I got to go ahead and rescape this tank because this is where the albinos are going to be going. I figured I'd go ahead and give it a quick water change beforehand. And while the water's low, I'm going to go ahead and rescape it. So, what I got is some of these cichlid uh, caves right here. And... A bunch of other stuff that I randomly just picked up yesterday so I got a random uh, miscellaneous pile of everything so I got to go ahead and go through there and see what I'm gonna use but I know I'm gonna use all these little caves and see what I got to come up with so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get this tank drained down a little more and get the escape in and then start getting ready to separate them guys or whatever. Alright guys so it's a little bit later I got this tank all nice and cleaned out now I ended up having to clean this filter as well so by the time I was done with that and filling the tank back up, it was just super, super cloudy. So, yeah, I got everything uh, back in order. It's a little later, so the water's a little bit more clear. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready to start catching these guys out of there. But before I go ahead and catch these guys up out of here, I figure I'll go ahead and feed them one more time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I pretty much just want to go ahead and get at least one more feeding real quick before I move all these guys out of here with all the fish in here just because it's so awesome to watch. Also got this random guy in here. This guy is the biggest one in the tank, and I have never, ever realized him until today, which is absolutely hilarious to me. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drop some food in here and watch these guys eat. Here it comes! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> That's quite a good food. But yeah, these guys just absolutely go crazy. I'm going to miss feeding this tank, but it should be just as good in, in the new aquarium. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, tank draining down. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to take everything out of this aquarium just to save me a bunch of headache because I already know it's going to be a pain in the butt to get all these guys out of here. So I'm going to get all these guys out of there, get this tank drained down, yada, 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 and see you guys here in a few. One eternity later. All right, guys, so this tank is an absolute disaster, as you can see. And there's obviously a reason why, because it is a pain in the butt to catch these fish out of here. So I went ahead and got all my white labs and all my abound on fish out of this aquarium. So I'm going to show you what I went ahead and got out of here. So there's nothing in this bucket. Down here in this bucket, I have uh, five white labs and then one uh, snow white albino. And then down in this end bucket, I have two albino kobus. And then in this bucket, I have a bunch of snow whites. And these guys are gonna be moved up into the uh, 65 gallon aquarium right there. And then the white labs and the one really small snow white are gonna be added down in this fry tank, just to kind of separate them. So the reason why I didn't tell you guys how many is in here, I counted every fish that's in here. But I want you guys to go ahead and drop down in the comments below and guess on how many fish is in this and if you guys got it right maybe i'll shout you out in the next video or something i'm not, I'm not sure but yeah go ahead and take a lucky guess and see if you guys can guess the right number or screenshot count it however you want to do it but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get these fish acclimating in the new aquarium so i'm getting ready to release these guys in this aquarium but before i do that i want to go ahead and feed them now they're a little bit bigger than this uh everybody else in this aquarium but just to be safe i'm gonna go ahead and feed them because uh african cichlids are pretty aggressive so Go ahead and see how these guys eat right here. See, even when they're small, they give you great treat and responses. It's probably one of the uh, main reasons why I absolutely love these fish, not only because they're beautiful and have great color, because they're just so fun to feed and watch them eat. So, especially when they're babies, I just, I don't know why, I just get a kick out of this aquarium right here. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give these guys a second to eat and then I'm gonna be ready to scoop all these fish up out of here. All right, guys, so I got, went ahead and got all these guys caught up out of here, and I'm going to go ahead and release them. So here goes nothing. Oh, they are huge compared to everybody else in this aquarium. Now, I'm also going to uh, have to watch these guys really well because I don't want to have any uh, aggression in this aquarium because I've just had really good luck so far, and everybody's doing great. Now, 
the snow white albino which is right there he's looking like he's pretty good size also that white lab they're about all the same size but the couple bigger white labs are quite a bit larger but that should be fine from what i've experienced these guys are not that aggressive so fingers crossed i have all good luck in here so i'm gonna go ahead and watch this aquarium for a few minutes longer and then go ahead and get ready to release all the other guys in here so you can see some of the white labs are all in the back snow white's back there two more over here so great additions to this tank it's just kind of uh giving them a chance to thrive a little better because these were the small dogs in the other aquarium so i figured i'll move them in here and hopefully that they thrive a little bit more and get a little more size on them and then maybe i'll add them back in with the other guys who knows but also i'm probably going to be uh needing to sell some of them guys here soon and thin them out because i have a lot of fish breeding i also have a couple female uh bod's holding which these guys are absolutely probably my favorite hat peacock whatever all around so i love these guys i'm super excited about that so i definitely need space for these guys to grow out so i'll probably be thinning some of them guys out here real soon all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and release these afrocobos now because obviously i'm saving the snow whites for last best for last of course so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and release these guys in here i just fed these guys a little bit ago so hopefully i don't have any issues and as you can see i have three in here now i was just gonna add two but i had that one in that other 10 gallon that i've been uh bringing back to life so i thought he was good enough so i went ahead and added him in here with these guys to give him a better chance because i'd rather add three instead of two so yeah, now there's six albino Africobos in here. As you can see, that other male's down there trying to flex on the other to let him know that he's the boss. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and watch these guys as well and make sure I have no aggression in here. Hopefully I don't, but yeah, tank's looking really well. I'm hoping to get some breeding action in here. Well, obviously I just told you guys I have another female in here holding also, which I only had the, the trio in here not too long. So it's a great sign that they're already breeding. I also have some standard Afrocobus I'm going to be adding in this aquarium here eventually as well from this tank. Which this tank's looking great. I gave it a water change earlier. So yeah, everybody's doing absolutely amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready to add these Snow Whites right, in guys, now. So you so will not believe at the end of that last scene you've seen, I ended up overfilling that tank. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I am so mad at myself. But it happens. It definitely is not my first time and probably won't be my last. So I went ahead and spilled that water all over got a little bit wiped up and whatnot but yeah now it's time for the grand finale i'm getting ready to uh release these guys in this new aquarium and i gotta tell you i'm pretty excited about this because i've been kind of uh working on moving everything into species only aquarium so it's going to be pretty awesome but yeah are you guys ready for this awesome site <laughs> now that isn't all of them right there but this is a good amount of them and just look at that these guys are absolutely beautiful they're getting ready to add in the new aquarium so i'm gonna go ahead and get these guys being released on camera so this one guy's been in here for about a week by himself and he has a rude awakening because he is about to get a lot of new roommates oop splash me oh my gosh look at that now i've been wanting to get a species only tank of these guys for quite some time and when I got them to breed, I was just super ecstatic because I knew this was eventually going to come. And now six months plus down the road, I am adding these guys all into this aquarium. And I'm excited to watch them uh, get used to the surroundings, uh, this environment, and I think they should do really well in here. So I don't see the, uh, it's actually their mom that's in here. I ended up losing the dad uh, quite some ways back because this tank had some type of catastrophe happen and I lost a lot of fish out of here, but I still have the mom thankfully. And she is in here and I do not see where she is at because I wanna make sure that she is accepting everybody well and gonna be okay with that. Oh, there she is. She is definitely like, what is going on right now? <laughs> Those are your babies, girl. Do not kill everyone because I will have to move her out of here if that is what I start seeing happening, so because she is still quite a bit bigger even though these guys have got a little bit of size on them she is huge compared to them so we will see she is spazzing right now but yeah this is just an initial initial uh homecoming i don't even know what i should say but yeah hopefully that she'll calm down here in a couple minutes and won't be trying to kill everybody but 
think once she realizes that there's too many of them that she should be fine. But wow, it just looks amazing in here. And another thing is why I procrastinated on doing this so long is because I really was debating on taking down this aquarium and just restarting it because I have a huge snail problem in here. But what I'm thinking I'm just gonna do is just go ahead and try to uh, get a lot of these snails out of here myself just because I didn't want to go ahead and take the time of waiting for this tank to recycle and going through that whole process. Plus it's holiday season, so I'm not trying to spend a lot more money than I already have on aquariums. So it's time for me to take a little chill pills. All right guys, so I finally got all the rest of them guys caught up out of this bucket. And it looks to be that the mom is starting to chill out a little bit. But yeah, let me go ahead and get these guys released up out of here. Woo -hoo. That's the last seven of them. They're just looking amazing. Uh oh, don't do that. That one's pretty small. I almost could have added that really small one in there, but I think he should be fine. There's quite a few in here. So, as you can see, there's plenty to uh, curb the aggression, or hopefully, that's what the idea is. So, yeah, I'm absolutely excited about this aquarium because, as you can tell, I don't know if you guys know, but I've been wanting to do the same exact setup for quite some time. Uh, actually, the Snow White albinos is what got me in love, and, in love with African cichlids because I got some of these guys back in the day, and this is where it started from, these Snow White albinos. So, to, thanks to these guys, this is where it's got me into all these aquariums. So, I had one quite some time ago that I named Escobar, and I've had it for a few years, then it ended up passing away on me. But, yeah, guys, as you can see, I am just loving this aquarium, so... <laughs> look at that I'm excited to watch these guys grow definitely am but now the, I love how it's all white but I almost would have liked it if I did black substrate with the black background even though you can't really have a background with this style tank because the way it is it's like a centerpiece in the room so yeah anyways I also want to go ahead and get like a fluva aqua sky or something so I can change the lights and play with the colors I just think it'll be awesome to play with and see how it looks with all white fish so because obviously these guys will look amazing with different color lights and be fun to play with so i'm working on that because a lot of my tanks in here ran off aqua skies anyways so but sadly i missed out on black friday sales i didn't have the time to go ahead and make it there and see if i get some lights so the plans didn't work out but yeah anyways guys this tank is looking absolutely great i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys one little update of my shell door tank from the last video if you guys seen that if you guys missed that video go ahead and watch it now but i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick little update anyways here's the uh shell door tank right here and as you can see they're a little less skittish they're hanging out now which they usually run away still but slowly but surely they're coming around to me and starting to get comfortable in the new home but I've been, somebody told me to go ahead and take out uh, the driftwood, which I'm debating on, and I'm probably gonna take this piece out and then leave these couple little straggler pieces just because I like the way they look. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think I should do. If I should leave it or take it out, I'm not sure yet. But yeah. That's probably it for today's video, you guys. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. And don't forget to hit the per post notification bell so you guys stay up to date with everything I got going on here in the fish room and watching them snow white albinos and all the other tanks mature and grow because I got a lot going on here as you can see. But yeah, anyways, that's it for today's video. Until next time, I'll see you guys then.